and welcome back to the Graceful Tangle YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet the crossed pads dishcloth. I'm super excited to be filming another tutorial for you guys. All of the materials that you will need and the specific ones I used are linked in the description box below, as well as the links to the free pattern on my blog or the PDF versions on Ravelry and Etsy. Be sure to check all of those things down in the description box and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos. Now without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into the tutorial. Alrighty guys, so we're going to get started on our dishcloth. And again, like I mentioned earlier, all the materials that you will need and the specific ones I am using are linked in the description box below as well as uh, the pattern itself so be sure to check that out if needed now we're going to start our dishcloth by making a slip knot just like so and we're going to chain 28 <laughs> Alrighty, once we have our 28 chains, we are going to begin round, or row, excuse me, we're going to begin row 1. We're going to double crochet in the third chain from the hook, so skip this first chain, skip the second, double crochet in the third, just like so. And then we're going to yarn over to prepare to work our next double crochet, skip 1, double crochet in the next chain and now we're going to go back and double crochet in this skipped chain so how we're going to do that is yarn over like normal i'm going to insert my hook going in front of that double crochet we just worked through the chain and then i'm simply just going to double crochet as normal so we're kind of working through the chain and around our previous double crochet I'm going to yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through, and that is our first crossed double crochet. So we're going to repeat that all the way across until we have one chain remaining. So again, we're going to skip the next chain, double crochet in the second, just like so. Then we're going to double crochet in this skipped chain by inserting our hook from the front, and double crocheting as as normal but around that previous double crochet skip one double crochet in the next double crochet in the skipped chain so again we're just going to repeat this all the way across until we have one chain remaining <laughs> Okay, so I have repeated that last step for my cross double crochets all the way across, and now I have one chain remaining. We're just going to yarn over and work a double crochet in that last chain, and that is the end of row one. Now for row two, we are going to chain two and turn. Now remember that this chain two does not count as a stitch. It is our turning chain, and we'll just have our edges remain nice and straight. So all we're going to do across this row is double crochet in each stitch. So we're going to yarn over and place a double crochet in this first stitch. And then we're going to place a double crochet in each stitch across. Just treat these, these um, crossed double crochets like normal. Each double crochet is a stitch. It doesn't change anything for this row. So all we're going to do is double crochet in each stitch across. And then I will meet you back here. Ok, 
Okay, so I have double crocheted an inch stitch across, so I have finished row two. Now again, I am not working in this final chain two, so be sure to just skip over that and don't worry about it. Now we are going to start row three, which is the second row of our repeat. So this double crochet row is our first repeat row, and now we are going to just work the second. Now this row is pretty much exactly the same as row one, um, but we are working in these stitches instead of the original chains, so it's just slightly different. We're going to chain two and turn like I have just done. Now we're going to double crochet in this first stitch and start our crossed double crochets. So we are going to skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next. Then we're going to double crochet in that skipped stitch. So I'm just going to insert my hook into it from the front, yarn over and pull the loop, yarn over pull through two, yarn over pull through two. And we're going to repeat that all the way across. So again, that is skip the next stitch, work into the next, then double crochet into that skipped stitch. We're going to repeat this step until we have one stitch remaining. So I have worked all of my cross double crochet stitches and now I'm going to just double crochet in this last stitch Just like so now we are going to repeat rows two and three until we have 13 total rows now if you'd like to make your dishcloth shorter or longer simply do less or more repeats just note that this will affect your finished yardage so be sure to account for that I'm going to go finish my 13 rows and then I will meet you back here and show you how to finish off your dishcloth. Alrighty, so I have now finished my 13 rows and this is what my dishcloth currently looks like. Now I'm going to apply a single crochet border around the entire dishcloth. Now before I get started, I just wanted to show you one quick thing that is notable. So this is, the design of this dishcloth isn't really made to have a right or a wrong side. Now, for pattern purposes, I call this side the right side because it is the row that we started on and then now the row that we ended on to match. But you could also just flip it over and call this side the right side if you maybe prefer the look of the double crochet rows this way um, or the cross double crochet rows. Whatever look that you prefer is completely fine. I would suggest adding the single crochet border, though, to whichever side you think or you want to be. Um, the right side. So if you have chosen this side as your right side to work your single crochet border, simply chain one and turn and then work your border exactly how I'm about to show you all the way around. Now for me, I am going to work my border on this side. So I'm going to be starting right here and I am not going to chain one. It doesn't really matter if you chain one or not. Um, but if you were going to turn your work, I only suggest chain one just to get your hook to that right height. Now I'm going to place two single crochets in each row on the sides. So I'm going to work two single crochets in this row. One and two. And then I'm going to work two single crochets in the following row. I'm going to do that by placing my hook into the actual stitch and then into this chain two space. And then I'm going to place my hook into the next stitch and then in the next double crochet stitch to do my second stitch of that row. So I'm just going to work two single crochets per row all the way across. Definitely goes by pretty quick when you only have to do like 13 rows total. It really um, makes the project speed up when the double crochet stitches are this tall. So I'm already approaching the end of my row here. Again, I'm just working at two single crochets per row. And I'm almost to the end. There we go. Alrighty, two single crochets in this last row. 
Now we're going to place three single crochets in the corner to make it nice and defined. And then we are going to work in each chain across along the bottom. So I've already worked in this chain. I'm going to work in this one and then in the next one and so on and so forth all the way across. Alrighty, I have made it to my corner and I've already placed one, one single crochet in this last stitch. So I'm going to place two more into that to make that nice and defined. And then I'm going to work all the way up this side exactly as I did over here. And that is just two single crochets per row. So I've already done one. I'm going to do one more. And then I'm going to just work two single crochets in every row until I get back to my corner. Alrighty, I have made it back to my corner and I'm gonna place two more single crochets here again just to make that corner nice and defined. There's two more. And now for this final top row, I'm just going to work one single crochet in every single stitch across, just like I would if I was doing a standard row. So I'm just going to work all the way across these stitches. I'm not going to lie, this is personally my favorite part of working around the border because it's just the most straightforward. You don't have to guess at all where to put your hook. Um... Overall, though, I really love the look that adding a little border like this gives to the end of a finished project. Just makes it look um, a little more professional, a little more finished all around, <laughs> pun intended. And I really love the look that it gives. So, I'm already almost to the end of my row here. Can't wait to have this dishcloth done. This is one of my favorite colors. And I know it's going to be so, so used. Okay, I am back to my corner, and I've already worked my two single crochets in this spot. So I'm going to work my last one, just like so. And then I'm just going to finish off by slip stitching to that very first single crochet stitch, and pulling through. And now we can just cut our yarn, leaving our ends, and our dishcloth is complete. As always, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful. If you did, let me know by leaving me a comment down below or sending an email to thegracefultangle at gmail.com. Again, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future tutorials. And I will see you all again next time. Bye!